Hi, my name is Kristen and this is Kristen Craves Books. So it is me from the future. I just, I've been living with my new bookshelves for a few days and I want to come on here and film a bit of an intro so that you don't just see me jumping into taking my old bookshelves down and you're confused. So my old bookshelves I've had for many years. I explained that in the video. But these new bookshelves, I am so happy with them. I think I've had them up for three days now and I'm still playing with them a little bit. I still need to decide what decor I want, what kind of plants I want. I put a few little fall things on there that I'll show you in the video as well. But I want to tell you that I don't know if this company is in anywhere else besides Canada, but these are from Structube here in Canada and I think they're called the Chicago shelves. I will leave a link to those down below for any of my fellow Canadians who are interested or if you can find them in other parts of the world because I do think they're great. They're great quality, pain in the butt to put together, let me tell you. I put together a lot of shelves and furniture and things in my life because my family is terrible at that stuff. They always call me and it's always my default to me to put that stuff together because I don't mind it. But this was a frustrating process and I'm glad I didn't film the entire thing. I just showed you little updates here and there because it was a disaster. But it was worth it in the end because they look incredible. So I hope you enjoy this video and seeing my old shelves go and what the new ones look like and if you have any tips on how you arrange books or what kind of decor you like to have on your shelves because I have so much more room now I have so much space to grow on here I would just love all the tips you have or if you have some um, tours of your own shelves or favorite booktubers who have tours let me know all that stuff I need all the advice I can get so enjoy the rest of the video okay so I have started getting rid of my old shelves as you can see these are not ideal for books there is so much wasted space here I could fit another layer of books on top if I wanted to but these are from staples from years ago so I think they're actually meant for like files and file folders and things like that so I had two of these I got rid of one already these glass shelves are quite heavy, but once you take those off, the frame's actually quite light, so that is nice. This is a disaster in here I won't even show you yet. I don't have room to put all these right now, but I know that building the new shelf that I bought is going to be a project, and I don't think I'm going to film that process because you'll see a side of me that is not very pretty trying to put that together, but I just wanted to give you a little rundown so far. These are going and my new shelves are much taller because again, this is so much wasted space and I just need the space obviously. So I'll be sad to see these go because like these are old. I've moved these around so much. My boom box when I was a teenager was on here. So that gives you an idea of what that's about. And that's probably why I picked these out because it had to be tall enough for my boom box. So these are old, it's ready, I'm ready to get rid of them and I'm excited about my new shelves and to show you the entire process. Okay, I'm starting. I just want to show you how many little pieces there are to build this thing. It's gonna be a nightmare disaster, but I think you're getting the gist of this so far. I still have quite a ways to go. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because it gets so tall. I might need a ladder. And yeah, this has been a frustrating process, but I think it is coming together and looks nice. As predicted, I showed you nothing of the progress because it was so frustrating. I don't even know if I'd recommend the shelf just based on what it takes to build it, but I'm so happy with it. It is gorgeous. Look how tall it is. I am in love with it. My only issue now is I was so stressed out about having to build this thing that I didn't think about how I was going to arrange it. And this is way more shelf than I'm used to having at all. And I love that it's white and then you can almost put special books in here. So I'm thinking I might put my fairy loot editions here. I have no idea to be honest with you. Now I'm looking at this and I feel like it's calling for some plants. So I don't know if you have any suggestions because this video is going to be like my first go through trying to organize them, but I'm sure that will change a lot. So I would love all your thoughts on that. This is what I have so far. I put all of my sprayed edge books here. Most of these are fairy loot, but some, I think this is, these are water stones. This one's water stones. I can't remember where I got all these from, but they look so good together and there is room to grow. So that's awesome. Then I put all of my favorite Greek mythology here and it fits perfectly for now. I have a ton of Greek mythology on my TBR, so I'm sure I'll have to rearrange that 
eventually but I like the way that that looks and now I am out of ideas so uh let me think on it okay the fact that I need a step ladder to get to this shelf does that mean I need a ladder uh for my library that is the ultimate dream I don't think I'll get one but we're almost there uh yeah so what do I got going on I had to move my Greek mythology up here because of course there were lots that I missed. I put no idea what I'm gonna put here now. And then I put romance. There are those again. I put like contemporary literary fiction books that I really like. Here is the fantasy here, sci-fi. Uh I got nonfiction down here, so I still have to put YA up here, horror, murder mysteries, that kind of stuff, some thrillers that I have, uh, historical fiction, so a ways to go, but I know the shelf, I can have a lot of room to grow, which is awesome. Okay, this is where I'm at, and I have all this space down here. So I'm thinking I might put, like, arcs and TBR stuff here, and then I just have room to grow other than that. So, I put all of my thrillers and horrors, I don't have a lot of them to be honest with you because I tend to listen to those in audiobook and thrillers I don't tend to buy because I don't tend to love them enough to want to own them but there are some real gems on here. I put my favorite YA fantasy sci-fis up there, some real good ones there. Uh, down here are some historical fiction. I put just YA, just a mix of genres there. Tiffany G. Jackson gets her own shelf because she deserves it. And I have like all of her books. I need to get her newest one. Um, why can't I think of it? The Weight of Blood, which I read and really liked. And then she also has an anthology called Whiteout that goes with this. That is coming out this year. So that shelf is going to get pretty full. And then up here I thought it would be fun to put the books that are contenders for best books of the year. You've heard me talk about all of these except for Still Life, which might have taken the top spot. I'm not sure yet, but I'll talk about that soon. So yeah, this is what I've got. I don't know if I showed you up here. Yeah, I think I did. So here's an overview right now, and I will update you if I decide to add arcs and books I haven't read on the bottom, because I've read all of these. So we will see. Okay, so I think I'm done for now. I'm happy with them for now. I put some decor on here, of course. I'm gonna add more decor as I find it, but I want to show you some of the fall things and other things I added. So this is a poison apple mug. It's one of my favorite things. Um, this little pumpkin is by a local artist. It is pottery, and I think that is adorable. So I love having that. Poison apple pumpkin from Walmart, and they also have a Jack skeleton one up here and then these bookends were from a friend for Kris Kringle and it's obviously the front of a cat and then we have the cat tail at the end which is nice because I need bookends because I have so much space on here which is amazing I haven't been able to say that for a long time and then this is one of the two uh, fall candles I got from Bath and Body Works this year it smells like coffee, pumpkin spice latte, it's really good. And then speaking of coffee scents, this is the bookstore candle from Frostbeard Studios. It really does smell like coffee and it's one of the first bookish candles I ever got. I don't have a ton of pot figures on here anymore, but I had to leave David Rose because I just love him. I love this pot figure. These cards are made by an artist, they're like baseball cards. And he did one of David Rose from one of my favorite episodes of Schitt's Creek, so I had to keep that there. Just a few more candles, nothing exciting. I also have like a vampire blood candle from Bath and Body Works. That's the other one I bought this year. My favorite fall candle of all time. This, I will link this down below if I can find it. It's a couple years old now, but it's, if you were a spice girl, you'd be a pumpkin spice. I just think that's cute. I'm quite impressed with this. You can't tell in this light, but this is like a flickering candle from Walmart. I just think it's impactful for what it was. Uh, teacups and then another this is Christmas but I couldn't get rid of it I had to include it on the shelf so this is you go Glen Coco candle um, I the only 
book that I have like this is Ray Bear, the UK edition, because I just love that cover. I had to have it on display. A little happy Halloween sign. This cat that's like a neon light. Another teacup. Um, this is a photo, you can't really see it, of my cat who passed away last year, but she was a huge fan of books. She liked to destroy them and lie on them, so I felt fitting that she was on the shelf. Um, I don't think I showed you this. This is, let me sit down so I'm not so shaky down here. One second. Okay, this shelf, I, I think I'm going to put my physical TBR on here every month. So these are the five arcs that I've ha got recently. And then these are some books that I want to prioritize in October. So I think that's handy to have and to haunt me in. So that I know where everything is and can focus on it and just grab from there. So that is good. Uh, here is a mug. This is Rifle Paper Company, but I got it at Indigo here in Canada. It was actually gifted to me, but I know that's where it's from. So look how cute that is. And I'm going to put my bookmarks in here. I have to track them all down. But I will link the shop for this down below. These are book boyfriend bookmarks, and both of these characters are from Abby Yemenez novels. The newest bookmarks to my collection from Fairy Loot. These are so pretty. So I just like to keep those in there. So I have to find where all my bookmarks are. And then the, another pop fi figure I have is Marilyn Monroe because I just think this is too cute. And we were both born on June 1st. Many years apart, but I've always felt like a connection to her. And then this shelf is empty, so I just put some candles in a picture here. But now that I'm thinking about it, I have this candle in pumpkin spice latte somewhere. So I have to track that down and replace it. And then this is a photo of my brother and I when we were kids. I just think it's so cute. Um, this corner is Mitch Album's books. He really got me into reading, so I kept that collection. I've actually seen him speak and he signed some of them, so that's cool. And then my last pop figure is another one I couldn't put in storage because this is Betty from Sandlot. Sandlot is my favorite movie. And then I also have a card. This is a Topps card of him that my dad and I bought many cards to try and track that one down. And we finally got it and we screamed. So there you go. I had to keep that. You can't really see this either. This is a photo of me and my first cat that passed away. So that is important to have on there for me. As you can see, I'm a cat person. This is a cat. That animal, it was for charity. Again, this whole shelf is empty. So I just put something here to fill up the space. But this is a... Queer Eye Lego thing that I have to build and I'll get to that eventually but I am all built out for now and then this one's completely empty so as you can see lots and lots of room but I will pan out and show you the entire thing. Okay, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed seeing my new shelves. Let me know what you think. Give me all your tips. I appreciate all of your support so, so much. I'm so looking forward to filming in front of these new shelves from now on, decorating them for different seasons and just playing around with them. I, it's a little thing. So life, a bookshelf brought me so much freaking joy. Hope it did for you as well. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now.